have a goal at the end, and that's to sell this thing on OfferUp for $1,700. Stop capping. Get someone to come snag it and feel like the car was taken care of and not neglected for a year and a half. What's up guys? Welcome to today's video. Hope you guys are all doing good. TL is in pieces because we're working on the headlight video. Can you tell this in the back for me please? Alright, so uh, I said I'd give you guys an update on the TL and the selling process of my 2004 TL. And we're headed to the shop to most likely sell it. The person's coming from Tacoma, so an hour and a half drive to turn around and say no. I think he's gonna walk away with this, so. Fingers are crossed, we've had a ton of people lowball. We've only had one person come look at it and he's trying to give me 900 for it. Motor's in good condition, everything like that. You guys saw the detail video and I said I'd give an update, so this is the video. So we're gonna head to the shop, we'll see you guys there. No! We have to go get another one. That's my favorite coffee and I only took like three sips yeah. out of it. It just fell on the ground. We're on our way to Dutch. <laughs> I want to give you guys a little bit more information on the TL uh, and what I have it posted for. So I have the drop transmission. I have it posted for 1700 I know it's a lot. It's because I'm waiting for people to lowball. That's what everyone does. And I let them talk me down. And then I'm stopping around like 1200 1400 So we're trying to get it. We're trying to get 1400 out of it. The guy hasn't really negotiated any prices. So if he's willing to pay 17 hey, that'd be very nice. Let's get in this lane. How are you? Good, how are you doing? I'm gonna pull up real quick. Yeah. Do white chocolate mocha. You see mine just spilled off the side of my truck, oh, or my car. You're kidding. Yeah, I left it on the, I was getting in the car. No. I had my camera in my hand and I was no. trying to busy filming and it just fell off. It was full too. Oh my God. Okay, what size was it? Uh, medium. Yeah, is it hot? Yes. Okay. Anything for you? I'm okay. No, you're okay? All right. What? That is on us today, man. I'm so sorry that happened. <laughs> She just bought it like 20 minutes ago, too. No, no, no. It's on, it's on us. You're all good. All right, Don't sweet. worry about it. Yeah. Thank you. Good... Thank you. Yeah, there's that for you guys. Appreciate it. That is free taste. <sighs> it tastes very good. All right, we got to stop. There's an ambulance coming. All right, the car sits right here. Still looking pretty clean from when I last detailed it. My cover blew off because of the wind, so it does have some spots and stuff on it. But So, yeah, I just pulled it out so I can show the guy. We're waiting for him to get here. Should be about 10 minutes. So, I'll update you guys. Probably won't film him just because... Someone's trying to come buy a car like you just don't film them, but uh, I'll update you guys for sure. Yep, car's gone. We sold it, guys. It's finally gone off my hands. You guys know I wanted 14 out of it, but we only got a grand, if you guys can see that. Hey, we getting rich. I hate the seller process. Uh, I wanted, I mean, I wanted at least 12. Someone just texted me saying they'd come for 12, and then this guy came back with a grand. But, um, he was trying to give me 800 and then he ran his scanner through. Noticed that the stupid airbag has gone off before. I'm like, yeah, it's a salvage title. He's like, I didn't know it was a salvage title, but he never asked it was a salvage title. He drove like three and a half hours to come check out this car. I knew he wasn't just going to turn around, so I was making it hard on him. But I said a grand. I, I talked him down from 14 because he came here originally looking at it for 14 And then um, I said, you know what, I'll take a grand right now if you take it right now. And he's like, no, 800 And so I parked the car and he got all salty about it. <laughs> And then I was like, all right. And then he's like, 850. And I'm like, no. And then he kept on texting me. And uh, he goes, 900. I, I drove all the way out here. The extra 100 will pay for gas in the trailer. I'm like, no, it has nothing to do with me. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, I'm, I'm sticking to a grand. It's a grand. You come back or someone else comes and takes it from you. And we got our grand. I'm rich on these people. Half of this money will go. Me. To a half a set of wheels, and none of it's going to you. I got chains in my wallet. All right, so uh, I don't want to roll up on him loading up the trailer right now with my camera out because that might kind of scare him a little bit. I don't want to be that guy. <laughs> I go start it, I'm like, oh no. So let's come to conclusion with does detailing your car affect the price you can sell it at? 
Now, I'm still stuck on, yes, it does affect. Everything is first impression, and the first thing you see on the car is how clean it is. And I know for a fact that's the reason why it didn't sell the first time I tried to sell it. But from talking to people on OfferUp and showing people the car, I've learned quite a bit, and I'm gonna share this with you. The reason why I was able to let it go for a thousand, and I'm happy with it, like, I'm fine with that. Um, most people only think it's only worth about a grand. The reason why I posted for 1700 is so people can see that I value it at 700, and then when I lower it to a grand, and I'm willing to take a grand, they feel like they're getting a good deal. And that's a very important thing when selling. Um, they're not gonna buy it, they don't feel like they're getting a good deal, that's just how it works. So, I mean, they were trying to walk away with it for 800, and I was like, no, 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 I'm not doing that. I guess the final question is, did detailing it affect it a lot? Yes, it did. You guys saw the condition of the car. It was in really, really bad condition. I don't think a clay bar was necessary because it was salvage title and the paint was in such bad condition already. Clay bar and the decontamination, all that stuff was really necessary, but do a very good wash in detail, and especially the interior as well. And um, I guarantee people are gonna have a better impression of your car and just feel like it's worth more. You guys probably already know, but it had a cracked dash, cracked windshield, uh, rips in the seats, a drop transmission, and it's a 2004, had a rebuilt title, and what else, what else? It was repainted, so I mean, the, the paint isn't perfect. It was repainted and the shade was like a little bit off, so like when pictures, you can see it. So those are the main factors why it went for so low, and I think I gotta still thinking about that now. Thinking cars, they call them lemons. <laughs> it was definitely a, a 10 footer car, but I'm glad it's off the hands. Uh, I know you guys all wanted me to turn it into a daily, but. I can go find a cleaner one for two grand and turn it into a daily and then maybe uh, I've got some stuff up my sleeve. Maybe a built TL on the channel. I know you guys would like that. I'm considering buying another TL when I have the money to do like a full on like either supercharge or build for it to make it just fast to prove everyone wrong that these cars can move and um, take down some V8. So if you guys want me to do that, make sure you guys hit the like button. Let me know down in the comments. Thank you guys for staying tuned. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. I'm a fool for your love.